All right, so g'day everyone. Um, another hour of power. We're going to do another hour of this baby. So we've got through all up to the horse's neck and we're doing the um, the uh, halty and then we can start on his face and ears and that and a little bit of the hair as well. So um, hopefully you can join along and uh, listen to me yap along about nothing as we're doing it and I'll just give you a running commentary. <laughs> so uh, the product I've used here is called a medium uh, fusible tear away. Um, I did, I took my eyeballs off before and now I've forgotten where I put them. Uh, g'day Reto, Stella, I don't know where I put my eyeballs. Oh here they are, it's alright. Can't see much, can't see. <laughs> glued them to me to me nose all right all right so we know we want that sort of bluish sort of tone um even though this has got quite a bit of blue in it it won't be enough to remember what i needed to do <laughs> um so i'm going to i'm thinking that that is too bright way too bright so i'm going through my bits and pieces i've got a massive box of stuff here and um, I'm just sort of having a look for something that's a bit bluey but not too bright and not too pale. Um, that makes sense. Um, oh, look at that. This one could be just the thing. Oh, <laughs> yes. So it's got some dots on it but or bubbles, but um, I reckon that that would be awesome. That is going to be nice. You need a clip for your glasses. Imagine if you stick them. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to have, like I say, I've got one of those or two of them actually somewhere and um, I lost them. I'll probably find them when I'm stuck them. Yeah, I'll probably find them when I'm not looking. Um, so what I'm going to do is just iron that little bit out. Just... Just to make it a bit flatter. Hi, Susan. So, I've um, got lots of little bits over here. I'm just going to keep there just in case. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use this. Then it's got a little bit of a, a back colour, which is a bit dirtier. Here, yeah, some very nice fabrics there. Stella, I do. <laughs> I've had these all in stock before. You guys have actually seen them before. I'm sure that they, not so much the same ones, but um, I've got fabrics coming from, um, what do they call it, um, Fern Textiles. So there are a lot of those are the, um, uh, what do they call, um, Andovers. Is it Andover? And um, also got some coming from Bali as well so they should be pretty cool as well they're a bit cheaper which is nice hi Suzanne so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do not gonna do um, yeah that goes that way and where's my little pick it goes down here so I'm just gonna pop that there just so I can see where it belongs this has got to be a bit grubbier looking. That's going to be this blue. And this one here is going to be a highlight. So it needs to be almost whitish. So. What I'm needing to do here. Is I'll just iron. Just pop that there for a sec. I'll just iron this on here. And I'm going to iron it in a spot where I'm picking up a bit of blue and I'm a, I need gum leaves, motley green and maybe rainbow bark for my last border for wildlife panels. You mean like this? So someone's just messaging me. Um, bear with me. No, I can't do that. Um, no, I can't, um, sorry, someone's you, 
Good God, what happened then? Do? I don't know, I just locked, blo I'm back on, but I just blocked myself off. I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, um, the pickup for Woolies, for, um, <clears throat> it's a drive through thing, so it, the pick up for Woolies for their order, that'd be at the side, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. When you come in on um, Hertford Street, near the bakery. Okay. And the petrol station. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, ladies, I'm just. Um, just um, sending a message. Okay, we were intro. We were rudely. I said we'd be back. You said you would be back in a minute. That's weird, isn't it? That's crazy. All right, so we were put on hold. I know. Rado need gum leaves, motley green, and maybe rainbow buck color for my last water of wildlife. I have some of these. I have two of those. I have that one as well. That's a fat quarter. Um. So, if that sort of suits your boots, Rado. doesn't have the green so much, but it's got that beautiful blue in it. I do have a fat quarter of that. That's $3 if you're wanting some of that. Um, as far as anything else is concerned, I would have to dig deep. <laughs> hmm. mm -hmm. I've got yeah, so much stuff here, it's not funny. There's another brown. I know, and not even any elevator music. It's called life, yeah. <laughs> no, no elevator music at all. How rude. Um, all right, so I'll get back to this. So I was actually trying to place this in a position before I cut myself off. <laughs> all right, that one there. No, not with a pattern as such, just color tones. So I make leaves and raw edges of them. Okay. Because I do have that sort of one as well. That's pretty cool. But it does have the patterns. Um, and I've got that one too, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, I'll have a scrounge through my stuff. Um, depending on how much you want, of course. So what colour tones, are, um, just colour tones, leaves and we'll edge them, okay, so uh, motley green and maybe rainbow bark colour, motley green, but that's got butterflies on it. Um, this is just from my stash, which is bigger than Ben-Hur, ooh, oh no, that's the same as the other one, actually that's nice. Um, yeah, gum, yeah, but you could cut this so that it doesn't look like you've cut an actual leaf, yeah, because these aren't gum leaf, they're the fat ones, so you could actually fussy cut in sections that you want, and I do have a bit of that, like two fat quarters of that, I think, oh, one fat quarter of that. Um, Yes, yeah, so no, I should not be lazy and diet. <laughs> well, that's true, you could too. Um, all right, so I've ironed this one on, so let's do this. Um, I've just found out I don't have to race off, which is great. I'm just going to pin them down because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to lose the little boogers when I'm cutting. How much do you need, Rado? I reckon I've probably got some in my, my goodies, Rado, so... I'll have a look because I have a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, I might even have some hand dyed ones myself. All right. So this one is going to go down there. It needs to have an overlap. Um, it's going to have an overlap on this side. No, tell a lie. That's the side it's going down. So it's this side it's going to have an overlap. So it's got a little lip there so that the next fabric can adhere to that. 
The top of it can have a lip as well for the metal part dead here. And this side is going to be straight. Well, straight to it. And this one here can be straight to the, the edge. Yeah, no worries, Rado. I'll keep an eye. Up. I'm going to have a look through because I'm actually really, really enjoying doing this. Um, which means I'll probably start digging through my stuff. So if you can hang off for about a day, I will endeavour to get back to you. So that one can go there. Thinking I might need to probably goes there. Goes across there like that. So I've got a little bit of a gap there. I might need to lift that and just pop it under here and bring it down a fraction just so that it's overlapping where it should be. All right, that's going to go up there. Oh, look, no, no surgery this week. I've got the dates mixed up. It's next week, which is beautiful. So I've got one more week of grace before I get cut into little tiny bits. No, they don't do that. Um, well, they do, but not so bad anymore. It's all keyhole these days. I'll have about six keyholes, I think, or four or five. Five, I think. As long as everything goes well, I'm a happy girl. So that one, I need to... Just lift that little bit of paper because I don't want it overlapping like before and causing issue issues. So come off. That can come off now. Beauty. That can lay up there. That's still okay. Uh, plenty of projects keep me going. Yep, great way. It's been a very wet and wild sunny afternoon. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I enjoy doing this. Um, never done this with a audience an audience I've normally doing this on my own so it's nice to have a little bit of an audience oh that's why it's not sitting where it should be it needs to go there and then I've got this boogaloo to go in there so that's going to sit on top so I'll just move that out of the way so you got lots yeah I hope that I hope you're not getting flooded out again I was just thinking the same thing, Stella. She's not getting flooded out again. Because that was pretty full on, that flooding. Just going to take that off. Don't need that there. So this little bit here, uh, no, it goes that way. Like that there. I'm going to do that in a little bit of a dirty colour. So it's going to be in I don't think I'll do it in that one nope where was that brown gone I had a second ago I put another brown here <laughs> you throwing things yeah hmm. throw them away so I might grab a bit of this colour just in garage up to the bottom step wow so Gidget's almost flooded out. It's up to the bottom step of the garage. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, she's where all that flooding is. So I was watching it on the news last night, and I'm looking at it going, oh, poor Gidget, and they're going to get more. Okay. Yeah, not nice. Not nice at all. So... As long as you're okay, Gidget, that's the main thing. It's the days. Just got to keep your feet dry. So this one, I'm just cutting it a little bit larger because I'm probably going to overlap. Um, so I'm just ad-libbing a little. Okay, so it's going to need, because there's so not enough, um, 
I don't think there's going to be enough glue underneath. Might be. To um, hold in place. I can always add some in, but yeah, there we go. That goes there and there. Yeah, I'm just looking at what I've got in place. Just take that out from under there. And move it along a little. There we go. So it sits next to that one. Lift that. I can always trim that off. It looks like it's a little bit big. Yeah, well, that's very true, Gidget. You're not struggling opening gates down the paddock. <laughs> it could be very, very annoying. <laughs> very annoying, in fact. I can imagine the farmers trying to get in and out of their properties. So I'm just going to hold that down with the thingy, just get it in place and then I'm going to again lift this so it's underneath that paper, it's going underneath there, I'm just going to iron that down there. So. Now I can probably tear some of that away. Oops, it has got me fabric caught. And now. There we go. Give it a little bit of a haircut because I just frayed it by doing that. Grabbing it. That'll all get stitched in anyway. It's all good. An iron. Oh yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, they've got to let the cattle. Yeah, otherwise, <laughs> poor buggers will drown. I'll get foot rot even. All right. So, and as I said that I would lose it, I have lost. Oh, there it is. I was going to say I've lost that little piece. There it is. So I'm going to actually use um, probably. I can just see a little long piece here that might work just nicely. So I'm going to grab that and put that on top of it. I'll show you in a sec. I'll just iron it on, spit off camera. There we go. Grab it. Grab it. Now I know I'm going to need glue under it. You can see it's not going to have enough because it's quite a thin piece. So. I know I don't need a lot, mm -hmm. just enough to cover that area. And then let's tear the bit off. There we go. And I'll give this a bit of a trim. I just make it a little bit bigger than what it should be. Again, for the same reason as before. So that goes the other way. My apologies. There it goes there. Alright, so what I want to do is cut a little bit closer here. So a bit of shape. So this side, which makes it even skinnier to hold. Then that one comes in here. This is like a fantastic jigsaw puzzle. Get my iron. Just touching the edge at the end of it. 
just enough to hold it down until I get the next piece on, which will really hold it down. Just to the end. Alrighty. You guys are home from fishing. The guys are home from fishing. The boy is interrupting me while I'm trying to ignore him. <laughs> That's funny. Did they catch anything or was it a fisherman's tail? All right, so next bit is going to be that bit there. Temptation is to do this one, but I'm going to leave that one for a bit and do this one up here. And because I have some of that blue sitting there, I can, nothing worth keeping. Ah, okay, I've got a poo. I can just trim them out. And I might make them a darker blue. Well, you need patience to fish. Just like doing this. Are we going anywhere, little booger? All right. So the big thing with this is that you'll forget which way they lay. So my suggestion is to pop them next to each other in the position that they were in, especially if they are tiny. Chuck a pin on each one. I know that that goes inside and then that one so those two can just be pinned down whoops a days heavier pin in there so they are ready for my next thing but first things first I'm going to do this back one so I'm going to iron that on there and that is going to be my halty top Sorry, just bear with me two seconds. Sorry, I did it again, didn't I? I paused it. Oh, poo. <laughs> um, all right, let's see if I can pause again. Hey, I'm back. How cool is that? <laughs> I still have to go away. Again, give me two secs. There we go. How cool is that? I'm back. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's do this, baby. All right. So this one around here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome, Earthlings. I know. Isn't it crazy? Weird how that can happen. Um. I had to, I've got Becky's young fella, Aiden. I've got order of groceries. So I'm really trying to stay away from everyone. Um, take me to your lead, I guess. Um, because I've got the surgery, I don't want to take any risks of getting COVID. So I'm staying away from anyone and everyone that I know goes places that they shouldn't be going. Um, and... Um, Anyway, so I, I don't like going into the supermarkets at the moment um, because there's too many people that actually are not wearing masks. So I thought, beauty, I'll do an order. Fantastic. That's perfect. And then um, I thought, great, then I can go and pick it up tonight after this. But then I find out that Rebecca is getting picked up from work 
and by the by the boyfriend so that means that he will be going or can go past Woolworths on the way here <laughs> so guess what that saves me going to get it <laughs> <laughs> could I get could I get any lazier? <laughs> How sly am I? All right, this one can come up now. Let's just see if I can get underneath that one. Another pin. Hey. Okay. You know what I did this morning? I went to um went to Rokewood to grab something and oh, I left my bloody handbag at home. So I've got an account there, so I, I chucked it on the account. And But I'm sitting there going, hang on a second, I haven't got my mask with me because it's in my handbag. <laughs> All right, I need another mask. God damn it. <laughs> um, he is a good boyfriend. They have to be useful with some things. Yeah, they do. <laughs> the occasional something. All right, so I'm just going to sit. There's a little bit of um, glue at the top of this. I'm just going to sit that there just so when I put the iron on, it doesn't I've got a whole heap of glue on it. So that should be good. Yeah, I need till they marry you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong there. All right. So these two little farts of things. Um, honest to God, they look like they are just little shadows. So one piece of fabric, and I'm going to use two sides of it. So um, actually, I can't really. Use, oh yeah, no, I can there. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use the dark side there and then on the smaller one I'm going to use that red side of it there it is so I've got two different colors out of the one fabric which is lovely um, I'm going to put a bit of an edge on that one give it a bit more room and and it can be right against the paper on that side. And we can see fluffy bits and they've got to go. And then this one, that can be, both sides can be close. So it's going to be a tiny little doodah. You're lucky to be able to hold it. Well, I can't get hubby to go and pick him because he's been drinking. <laughs> he's been having a beer with his mate. Well, they're building stuff. All right, so that can go there. So I need some glue on it because it doesn't look like it's going to have any. So I'll just put that on the edge of that there. Just enough room to get a bit of glue on it. Pick her up, tear it off. It's got enough glue on it now just to hold her in place. Nice. And that can go there. Let's put that there. Oh, stay. Stay. If it gives me a hard time, I can always chuck a little bit of that glue mesh underneath it. Um, that's the beauty of this. All right, so this one here definitely has no glue. So this one can go right here. And again, just grab that edge. There it is. Got a bit of glue on it. And that can go right there. So it might actually go that way, I think. It does. Yes, it does. So that can go there like dart. And then this booger, I'm going to lift up a little. There we go. What's wrong, Jules? What's wrong, sweetie? 
It's B, they're both B-A-L. One's an A and one's a B. Oh. The A is the one we would have used. Yeah. I've already cut, I cut the A, yeah. Very, um, actually, this is not as fiddly as you think. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's actually not too fiddly. I have had worse. Um, the cock, the cockatoo can be a little, little bit like that, but um, so worth it because the result is just amazeball. So, um, but the uh, this one here, it's not too bad. I like I say, I have had worse. So, I'm just trying to find a bit of darker blue blue green maybe that one there mm. nope uh, this one can go there perfect darker green and take that off so these little ones um like around the eye and that will be tedious but that's not too bad this this at the moment it's it looks it from your end I probably make it look hard but um, it's not too bad the cocky one day I will get him done COVID stopped that class yes I know what a poo I was not happy about that I can tell you can't wait until it goes back to some kind of normal So, Rado, with you, with what you're doing, that is the same sort of, this is the same sort of process, but um, I don't know it's the same process as doing that cocky, but um, a lot more pieces. <laughs> yeah, it's um, pretty amazing how COVID has changed the whole way of life. Okay, next one. So I need a bigger piece because that's not going to be dark enough. Actually, I might use this one. This is one of my hand dyed, so this will actually be quite helpful. And that one can go there. Just a little area. Yes, all the feathers um, and um, you got those big wings. You know the the. The wings have got lots and lots of it in them, but look, honestly, they're just so worth it in the long run. Loved it. Loved it. I've done it twice now, um, and each time I enjoy doing it. It's not as hard as it all sounds, but it is fiddly, um, it's just because of the size of it. Um, in saying that, if you know, if you wanted to do something different, that's the one to do, isn't it? So I've just got to move that little doodle over here out of the way. It seems to be doing encroaching on someone else's territory. That one can go down there just nicely, like that. And we come in from that angle. Oh, look at that. Bam. Nice. Get that little dude out. And they all fit back together. How cool is that? Alright, what are we up to now? Okay, we're now up to the buckle. So the inside of the buckle is going to be that blue. So let's get rid of that out of there. Oops, it is. And I'm just going to stab that out. It's got a couple of, like, there's only three pieces to it. Um, it, again, looks fussy, but it's not. Um, just pop that back over there. We're going to make the buckle on the side. Okay. So we've got three pieces to it. So we've got one 
and then oops so those nearly cut right through that little bit and two and three okay so that one that goes there like that then put your tweezers that one there and that one there let's put them a bit of gap apart just so I can see them all right now looking at the picture uh, they go the other way around actually so that goes there <laughs> my bad that one there so that's going to be your darker bit and that's going to be your lighter bit so we need to that one there and that one there and we just need to select some fabric so I am going to go with this one for the darker one because I'm thinking that will work really really well um, but the really dark one needs to be in here and I'm going to get a little bit of black off that um, off this fabric here there's like a really black part so that will go on there just nicely see it'll just fit on there this one can go on here it's like a blue black so bang and bang and this one here we're going to oops it is we're going to um, use the other blue the fabric blue so I'm just going to cut that out so this one is the underneath so that can have a lip on that side and it's going to have a lip all the way around sorry can't see can you there you go so that one now this booger is going to have a lip on one side and not on the other just need to iron it on there properly I have been known to hold things with tweezers while cutting all right so that goes like that so this side is close Does using the pins eventually hurt the mat? No, I haven't found it to hurt anything at all. No. Um, no, I think you'd have to put a lot of holes in it for that to happen. Um, okay, so in saying that, we're going to put... Oh, all right, where did it go? Here. Put a bit of the glue down. We're going to have that there. Don't want a lot of glue on it, just enough, because there's glue on, on here. So then that one can sit overlapping, and there's just enough glue there to hold it. And I am going to pin where they overlap. And this one here can be out of this one. So just iron that down. And that goes there. Then we do a random cut um, now I've just got to look at where it's sitting so it's that way and this is going to have all the way around this side it's going to have the lip for the, um, the metal look to go on it I'm just going to line that back on properly and this side goes against the edge of it because it's going to go up against the other piece of um, paper. All right, so that's going to sit on there like that. That little bit of glue is going to get tucked underneath, just like that. Get some heat. Around there, take the pin out. We have ourselves a bit of fabric 
one. Whoopsie dice. Oh, come on now. Not enough heat. There it is. Then, oh, your little booger. Put that over here in the middle. Just make sure I've got it in the right spot. Got more glue over there, that might help. So, It's going to go there, just like that. All right, we'll do this, and then that's it for the day. So we're going to do the buckle. Now, remember, I need to use that whitish colour. So in these here, um, well, they're sort of, they're your white bits, and this is sort of like a grey, like a, it's, um, it's damaged. So I'm just going to take that little bit off there. Again, I don't want to lose it, so I'm actually going to pop it over there. Then I'm going to take this one off here. And I'm going to pop that there. That goes with that way. Then I'm going to trim these ones out. I'll trim that out in one actually. I might make it look a little bit different than what I've drawn. Julie, why are you standing on a chair putting fabric up on the shelf? I'm really thin. I, she'll be bitching and moaning that her back's sore tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, you're bending. <laughs> hey? Get him out. Fingers. There we go. All right, that one goes like that. This goes onto a grey. So I need to find some sort of grey, but I reckon I might actually use, because I reckon this would look cool. Oh, no, I've changed my mind. Um, I need a greyish sort of one. It's a bit too, too brown. Oh, the iron one. Damn, if you could see what I got here. What I got? Oh, what that? Oh, that's a bit greyish, isn't it? We forget we are all getting older because we don't feel it until we climb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and Julie had an injection in her back, and that's made her feel super, super special. <laughs> she does. She feels like Superwoman. So, and she's forgetting that she actually does have a small back. <laughs> <laughs> which is, you know, it's all lovely in that, but what's going to happen is that, you know, it's because, I mean, these injections only last for so long. Um, well, she does need surgery, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm finished now. The knife is great. Yes, yeah, so I'm growling at her. Um, so I'm just going to trim out some of that roughly. Um, that's got to go in there. I love those injections. <laughs> Rado loves those oh, injections. Oh, yeah. She said they're that good. it's really good. I don't think it worked that well. And love those injections, says Stella. Um, I don't think it worked as well last time, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't it really. It actually um, affected the sciatica nerve. Yeah, it made it worse yeah. in the sciatica. So she was really crippled then. Mm -hmm. And um, you probably would have been apprehensive about the injection you were having. 
Oh, well, it's got it with the different price and the different kinds of things. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, a doctor can make or break you, hey? All right, so what I'm going to do is just cut that there so I can cut that hole out. And I want to cut along the edge of it. So, sorry. I know you're trying to watch what I'm doing and I'm not making it easy for you. There you go. We're almost there. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, you are so naughty. <laughs> She's walking around the straightest I've seen her in, in months. Mm. Uh, it has to be spot on perfect. I had a few that didn't work. One even paralysed her for a day. Holy crap, you would have been in tears. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would have been in tears. Ooh. Yep, that would have been it for me. I would have gone, you're not touching me ever mm. again, that doctor, whoever he was. All right, so there's that, and that will go on there just nicely so I'm just gonna just get a little bit closer because I don't want the the paper grabbing onto the fabric if that makes sense all right so theoretically that should just fit like a glove and I've got to put those little highlights on and I'll do them in a minute we want that baby to stick down. Have you got any up there? No, he didn't. I travelled back to Tari from Albury to get them done after that. Yeah, I bet. Um, I've got a friend who lives in Tari. Tiny little place. Um, well, not tiny, but small. Alrighty. Okay, but now we've got these little highlight bits. I'm that short. I thought about doing the council, suing the council for putting the footpath too close to my ass. You want to be careful, Gidget. You'll get you'll get um, bloody you'll get you'll get council charging you for um, ducks disease because your ass is too close. <laughs> yeah, be careful. You'll get charged taxes. They try and charge us for. They tried to charge us at one point there for water. You remember that the, in the dams, pricks. I know, mongrels. Oh, they're just even. Ned Kelly still rides. When we first moved here, you didn't have to pay for main water. Really? Yeah, for about five to about nineteen ninety eight. I think. Wow. Yeah. That's unusual. Mm, very unusual. Right, this has actually got a bit of glue on the back of it. That's that's good. So this has got to be close to the actual drawing or the piece of fabric, paper. And that one, I can tell you, goes up there just like that. And I am going, yes, they're all thieves. Yeah, they are. Ned Kelly still rides. It's either a vet Sorry if anyone's a vet out there. Or um, council. He's, I'm sure of it. I'm uh, just trying to get those little bits back out of the way so I don't glue them in. Booger. Yeah. You can do it. Don't be naughty. So what I'm trying to do is just scratch that paper back a little bit just because it doesn't need to be. I don't want it right up there because otherwise it'll stick to itself, each other, and then I'll never get it out. All right, so that can go there, which means I need to just lift that a little bit to that paper there, just to make sure I don't get it caught. Because that's what happened up here, that's why I had to um, adjust it a little. E -e -e -e. 
This is like doing microsurgery. <laughs> I wonder if this is what the doctor feels like when he starts poking at you. In your bits, like your insides bits. I feel like they're doing microsurgery. Alrighty, that one goes there. So I'm just hoping that my surgeon, because he seemed like a really cool bloke. Oh, why is that not sticking? What for? You kick my dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that there. Um, and I'll get a little bit of glue wherever I put that. Oh, if I buried it again, oh, there it is. I'm going to chuck that underneath, just a tiny little bit. Lucky it's not the operation game and zaps you. <laughs> Rado, you always come up with some weird shit, I tell you. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> You're an absolute card. <laughs> oh, dear. That is funny as. Aww. You're not playing nice with me now. It's, it's, it's time for me to stop if you know you're not playing nice. There we go. Got it. Looks a bit weird at the moment, but it'll work fine. All right, then we got these little boogers, and I think I lost another little piece. See, that's why I put a, a pin in them, because if I don't, I lose them. So I'm just going to make one up on the side there. Um, Actually, maybe I actually already, actually, yes, no, I didn't lose it. There it is. There it is. It's got a bit of glue on it already, I think. Mm, no. So, just going to grab that. Could be Operation Petticoat. Now, I'm really sure my age. Operation Petticoat. Do you remember those movies? God, who was in those? Who were the main characters? There were always every operation, whatever Operation Petticoat or Mash. No, 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 no. no. They were those silly movies from the nineteen. Oh, very sexist. <laughs> um, God, that was a long time ago. I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't recall. Not right. Not yeah. Um, yeah, these are some small pieces, Rado, and they're doing my head in, but I'm going to persist because I have the patience of a saint I got told the other day. <laughs> Definitely not by that, that woman. <laughs> All right, let's take that off. Because that's obviously causing me a nightmare. Let's take that baby off there. Let's then put this little boogaloo on the side. There we go. So when you're doing these, Rado, sometimes you do just have to do these tiny little pieces. And believe you me, they do it does it's worthwhile it is really worthwhile so I've just got some more whites to do there and then I'm pretty much done on that and I can um, call it a day on those um, just grabbing that one I'm gonna pop it there and this little doolin can go there Right, and that on there. Carrie Grant, Tony Curtis, Joan O'Brien, Jean Evans, and Dina Merrill. Oh my God! Did you Google that? You Google that, Stella. You so Google that. You can't tell me you remember that. Operation Petticoat, and they were the same silly buggers each time. They were funny as. <laughs> <laughs> Rado was thinking about how she can draw a picture to actually avoid all those small pieces. Oh. Um, 
Okay, so if you do that, what happens is that you would probably end up having to put the detail in with thread and that could take even longer. She did Google it. Uh, <laughs> I knew, she. yeah, Stella. <laughs> do you remember the show though? Do you remember it? Or, yeah? yeah? You remember them? One with the train, like the steam train. Burp, burp. Uh, burp. No. No, there was, there was lots of them. There was lots of, there was petticoat, different yeah. types of the same sort of movie. And each and every time they, they would have, it'd be the same thing, you know, um, chasing women and whatever else. And they were just ridiculous. Um, but they were, you know, in those days, they were funny. Um, but that's what we were brought up on. Uh, that one goes there. Or does it go that way? Now I can't remember. No, it goes that way. I'm thinking it goes that way. No, oh, maybe it goes. See, this is why I should never take away the picture. There we go, like this. That'll do it. That'll do it just nicely. As long as it covers a little hole that I've got there. Petticoat Junction. Yeah, that's Petticoat Junction, but there was. Um, Operation, Operation Petticoat. There was a movie. There were movies, and there were like a series of them. Petticoat Junction. I remember. That was, yeah, that was funny. I used to like that show. That wasn't really. Oh, I suppose it probably was. The secretary was pretty much ignored and all that sort of jazz. But, um, yeah, Petticoat. Operation Petticoat. There's an old one way back. All right, so now I've removed that. I just need to figure out where it went. I'm thinking around about here will do. Here yeah, we'll do it. Just nicely. Casey Jones, that's it. Uh, hey. Having a little bit of a reminisce over here. <laughs> All righty. Let's see if we can get some of these. Oh. It's like peeling back a band-aid, except when the band-aid tears off the skin. Don't like it when it does that. <laughs> it just wrecked a bit of fabric. So we'll just go back under here, bury him under there, bury that there, lift that little darling, I'll trim that off in a minute. They were a few of them around, the, yeah, second, yeah, post, post Second World War, yeah, or around the Second World War time, yeah. They were, they were, um, yeah, they were sold, soldiers or whatever they were, uh, Navy and that sort of thing. I used to love um, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, and I loved, 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 um, oh, what's his name now? What do they call um I can't even think of his name now. I was just, just had it and it's gone. Um, Jackie Gleason. But he was sort of going, oh, he was well and truly out by the time I was in, but they, I cheat with Lumiere paints for the small one. <laughs> no, it's all a part of the, the process. This is awesome. This is just the way it is. This is how we do it. You can add paint later, but if you take away this process then you sort of lose a part of a part of it. So yeah. Um, yeah, Jackie Gleason. Wasn't he the one who I mean, in those days it wasn't considered bad, but um didn't he used to say pow one of these days? Pow, right in the kisser? Wasn't that him? And he had the Jackie Gleason show? Bing Crosby and Bob Hope, Dean Martin, yeah. All right, just give me two secs. I've just... Stella. <laughs> Yay, I'm back. Okay. Um, yeah, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope. Oh, he was good too. Bob Hope, he was hilarious. And he, yeah, and he could sing. Um, Dean Martin could sing the old crooners. 
I didn't really like Frank Sinatra that much. I wasn't really keen on him. I was a real big Frankie boy thing, but yeah. I'll come in and give them a bit of an iron in a minute. Um, I want to get these off as well. Come on. I should just uh, score it. You right? You need to go to it. You're right? Yeah. Yep. You were not a, no, I sort of, I don't know, Frank wasn't, you know, I certainly didn't find him entertaining as such. I just thought he was a bit uh, stuck up there. Nan, my grandmother, my nan, absolutely hated Bing Crosby. And I loved Bing. Bob Hope, sorry, Bob Hope she didn't like. And I loved him. I thought he was great. <laughs> Her figure. Well, I don't think she thought he could sing. I think that was the big thing. Uh, it looks like I'm making a mess here, but I'm not. There's method in my nap madness over here. Just trying to um, loosen them up. They will stick back down and I will trim them up. Yeah, sleazy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, you know, mob stuff. He was well into that. And I loved Fred Astaire and Ginge. And I used to like, um, even though he was a bit of a ladies man as well, um, oh, what's his name? Mickey Rooney. I used to like him as well. I thought he was pretty cool. And Frankie Avalon. Frankie Avalon, I thought was absolutely to die for. Okay. All right, so I'll just give it another bit of an iron down and flatten down the, the ruffled feathers that we got now. And a bit of a trim. I can see there's a bit of a gap there, but we'll fix that up. Oh, National Velvet, yes. Now, do you remember watching, um, what's it called, um, Lassie? I used to hate watching Lassie because they'd always die. Do you remember the movie Old Yeller? Oh, my God, I was so upset. I was <laughs> beside myself with just, are you serious? They're, they're going to shoot, he's got to shoot his own dog. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Why is he shooting his own dog? And then I realised that he had, um, what's the name? What do they call it? Um, rabies, but um, yeah, I was devastated. Yeah, old yellow. Oh, heartbroken. Okay, so it's a little bit mucky up there, but I'm going to fix it and... To fix that, I'm going to get this. And, yep, that one. I'm going to get a piece of it about that big. And you watch. This is how you fix those little gaps. I can see little gaps everywhere. So you lift. Look at this. And I'm going to put that underneath. Just where it needs to be. <laughs> All right, they can go there, and then I'm going to iron that on there, and then line onto that fabric, and those gaps, no more gaps. All right, Lassie cried every time I was a kid. Yeah, always. And I loved, um, I used to watch Skippy, the Australian one, but then it got very repetitious and I got older and realised how fake it was and how many kangaroos they went through. Um, I'm not a footy fan, girls, but I've always thought that the top team was what? Should have home ground advantage. 
Uh, we saw his memorial in Scotland. It's so sad. Whose memorial? Whose memorial? AFL grand final be held outside Victoria. It looks like. Real yeah, reality. Sorry, yeah. Grey Friars, Bobby. Yeah, look, you know what? Um... I mean, I'm not a big footy fan either. I never thought I'd see the day it was played outside of Victoria. But in saying that, um, in the situation we're in, um, we're lucky we're even having a game. So how about they just need to not bitch about it? I think they just need to get on with it and go, yep, yeah, we're lucky to be having a game. Let's just deal with it and thank Queensland for playing along. You know? At one stage, we weren't even having games. You know, they just need to get over themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they need to be thankful. It, it, it'd be a lot easier if people were more thankful than, than whinging. Oh, oh hang on. Someone's calling me. Sorry. Yeah. Annie, yeah. But, you know, we're lucky to actually have any footy at all. This could have been a year, um, would have been, a, I mean, it's already a first with the amount of games we've had and how it's been. Could have been a year of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Complete year off. I think the only reason why we didn't see that back in 1900s is because we pretty much didn't play like we, we do now. Eh, eh, eh. I'm getting there. Come on. Play nice with me. baby work for mama today I'll have patience don't ask me to do this tomorrow I'm going to get the others off, but I can't do it on camera because I need to get my fingers underneath it, I think, because I've stuck it down on the paper. All right, I think I've done enough videoing for today, and I think that you get the idea. You can see the white coming through now, there and there, and this one will be white too. If I can get that paper off. There we go. Starting to come off. There we go. There's another one. And then when I do the stitching, of course, that'll be sensible to be held in just state this year. I wouldn't like anyone coming to Victoria to catch the virus. No, I wouldn't either. It's a sad thing, but it's it's much better that it's being played. And to be honest with you, I, I don't even know why. I, I think the way things are, them playing it and putting people in a crowd situation like they're going to put them because they're going to want to turn up and they will want to turn up whether they're sick or not. I think that um, it could also put um, Queensland in a very hairy predicament um, and to be honest, they probably should have just cancelled the whole year rather than put someone, another state into a position where they, they might have sick people because of it. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm so close, so close. Uh, 
And the other thing too with these, what you need to do is actually take a photo and look at it from a distance. So see that it's some of the paper hasn't come off. I'll get I'll get into that. I know. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Got to love it when it comes together. This one didn't come off properly. Where, oh no, that's white because it's meant to be white. Um, there we go. This one. Come on. Alright, so if you look at that through a camera, which you're looking at it, it'll look different to what I see. So I can see I need to put lots of detail in that, but um, it probably looks not as bad as what I think it does at the moment. Um, but it'll get there, it'll get there. Lots of fluff, excuse me, fluffy bits, but they will go away when I get going. Yeah, so you can see the, can you see the buckle? So, and the stitching will create more detail. So that can just pin back there. There and there, ready for another stint. There we go. So thank you guys. I know you've put up with me for a while this today. Um, we will chat to you tomorrow night. I'll see you then and we'll be going live with some sales. And I will bring any new products that I have to the um to the sale as well chat to you soon